Hey, I just wanted to make a really quick video to show you the new coilovers that I got. These are Megan Racing coilovers and just kind of show you what came in the package and to see what kind of drop you can expect. However, as I found out today after a phone call is that the distance that you see, see the difference here between the highest and the lowest setting is not actually linearly proportional to the actual car drop. So this right here is roughly four and a half inches of thread and but when you translate that into the actual car drop it's going to be very different and kind of unpredictable. So what you have to do is set a height, certain height you want just pick the lowest or the highest or somewhere in the middle and then install it and then drop it and measure the drop the way they usually do it is to measure from the bottom of the fender to the center cap so that's what I'm gonna be doing but for now this is just a kind of a quick video take a look what's going on I apologize for the shaking because it's just a cell phone camera but as you can see comes with uh, two front coilovers and the spring already um, preloaded so you don't have to screw anything in or compress it or anything like that so you can see in the front here it's fully adjustable you can adjust the damping and it has a pillow uh, what is it pillow ball mount so you can adjust the camber so as you can see here of course I changed uh, the drop from lowest to highest and the way you do it is just by unscrewing this bottom black ring right here and then just twisting this cylinder the bottom one and then there are the rear there's the rear springs and this is the mechanism they use for adjusting height it's just this kind of a you can call a cup with threads that controls the height of the spring and this travel uh, the kind of the range here is roughly 1.5 inches so but as I said before according to Megan uh, these uh, thread lengths aren't directly proportional to the drop so we'll see when I actually install it and by the way a lot of people apparently are making mistakes on installing these uh, I mean at least for this set the cup and the adjustments have to be on the top so right now the way all the coilovers are set is just the top part is the top part that goes in the car and then these are the shocks for the rear and you can actually adjust the height right here as well but I called Megan and they said that whatever it's preset to that's what it should be and kind of just not mess around with it uh, whereas uh, I saw on some other forums uh, they said that some other coilovers come uh, without a preloaded shock so there's certain procedure you have to follow is like you first select the drop on your springs and then you play around with a control arm measure some kind of distance and based on that you set the distance here uh, but Megan said it's already all preset at the most optimal setting given the range the drop range of these springs and you can control the stiffness on, the, on them and as well the dampening it's just uh, it's not as installed right there it's right there in the little packet uh, along with the allen wrench there's a whole bunch of wrenches for adjusting those rings for height then there's super crappy instructions don't really make much, much sense uh, this is a Japanese company so I think they just took Japanese and put in some kind of a 
translator and then just printed it out. And then you get some uh, stickers, then you get a warranty card. Uh, if within 30 days of purchase you need to just fill it out and send them in and you get a one year warranty. And then there's a little piece of paper just kind of describing all the features of the coilover. And um, I guess that's that's it. I'll be posting more videos on the install or just other stuff that I find because it's my first coilover setup. Don't really know much about it. And uh, I have a lot of questions myself, so I'm sure a lot of you probably have them as well. So I'll try to document everything as much as I can.